officially autumn because it is dark and it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to try hard not to moan this morning because I'm going to have a show and all the horses are doing great things at the moment. But I am wearing a thermal top and it is really cold and pretty dark so. <laughs> moan one. We'll try not to do too many, I promise. So it's 6.30, I've just got to the yard. Um, the car chat again. I wish I had a more diverse workplace to vlog. I just don't. Um, I am going to go and give Obi a bath first before I feed anything. Um, because, well, he needs to get dry before he can travel. Because otherwise it get cold. So I'm going to go and give him a wash because he is covered in mud. So that's fantastic. So we're going to go give him a wash. At least I have to plait him. It's one less thing to do, I suppose. Um, I'm going to go and do that and then see if I can, yeah. I was going to try and ride a couple before I go, but I just don't know if I'm going to get time to do it. But I would really like to be able to do Zora because she um, went free range for the first time yesterday and it was fantastic. But realistically, I don't know if I'm going to get that done and I don't want to be doing it in a hurry. So I will probably just make plans to do it when I come back. I'm hopefully going to be back by like late lunch time kind of thing and yeah so my brain workings but let's go give Obi a bath anyway that's got to be a first job hi mate uh great come on Robbie here we go to the wash bay. Obi! He's not very good at this, but I'm not paying attention to him. He just tries to go the wrong way. Right, that's fantastic. I've already just, um, I don't know if, I put the, hose, the tap, the shower on the floor and it sprayed, sprayed off at me because it won't, Sit. There we go. I have officially made Turbo Cop a wuss. He is shivering with hot water and solarium lights. No hope. No hope. It's September. <laughs> going to do in January when he covers himself in shit. Anyway, bathed, clean, it is shit, I think. The light is terrible in here, so I don't know, I'll probably take him out and he'll probably still have poop all over him. Don't be wild. So turn the mares out and just got to go and clean my tack. Oh, that horse calling really does me. He has never become less screamy. He just always screams for the brood mares and it is painful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to clean my tack and then I'm going to get going. I haven't, to be honest, I didn't even try. Obi was so grubby and I so needed to get him clean to go to this show. I could never have ridden any young ones. So I'm going to be doing them all when I come back. So Emily, who works for me, will exercise a couple, do some lunging and stuff of the older ones. And then I will come back and ride all the young ones when they've been out in the field and come back in again. Uh, before I go and teach this evening. <laughs> Everybody loves a busy day.
I need a bigger cool bag. So I've actually made the decision, I'm going to drive my own car to the show so that I can do the young one before I go. Um, and then I feel like I've accomplished something. Emily reminded me that I wouldn't feel very good about myself if I didn't actually do them until later and I was rushing and stuff. So if I get them done, I won't have to leave until like half past nine. So that gives me, yeah, it gives me an hour and a half to do a couple of them. And then I feel at least like I'm kind of halfway to having done some of the riding today because, well, there's a lot of riding and I've got to be doing it. Obviously, so what are we doing in the dark? Anyway, I'm gonna take some tack over there now, ready for when I'm free too, as in after Obi's gone. I haven't got a saddle pad. I have a uh, one with my sponsor's name on it, and I um, don't have a washing machine here, so hence why I have a pile of dirty stuff. But it means I haven't got we ha haven't got a saddle pad for today. Michelle took my one that's sponsored to be washed and hasn't brought it back. <laughs> so hopefully she brings it, but I doubt she will because I didn't remind her. Uh, so I might have to buy one, which is really annoying and I really don't want to have to do that because they're expensive. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Will Miriam ride with the saddle pad? Will she have to go bareback? Who knows? Oh. Don't eat that. No. 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 Gotta go places. Gotta see things. See new places and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe you forget it. What? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. Goodbye, Mary. But you stay with me, so to keep walking with me. No, keep Why is that fence on the floor, Eric? Hmm? You two, pair of absolute so-and-sos? Oh, not what we need. Summary, older horses are knobheads. Three-year-olds are fantastic. I'm gonna go and do the other three-year-old now, Delta. She is probably maybe a day behind, but actually, pretty much the same. And she is also lovely. So, um, 
Yeah, so lucky to have nice ones. I say that, it is a lot about how you begin. When you're not in a hurry and you just do things the right way around and you make sure that every step is a good step before the next one, then they're just not, not a problem. Zora was a little bit sticky. Um, I didn't, I didn't lunge her today. I would, as in long line her, because I don't want to do it every day. It's not good for her legs. And B, I don't ever want to be in that position where I'm like, oh, well, I can't sit on her. She's not been lunged. I don't believe in that. I think, of course, they have to be able to expel some energy, but she was out in the field yesterday till four o'clock in the afternoon. So that is quite a lot of energy expelled. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if you could see, I just, A, I've just got Emily to encourage her a little bit because the reason, the reason why she's not just forward, forward, forward is because she's just not confident yet. She's not like really confident moving her feet around with somebody on her back. Oh no, I've already got, I've got everything I need except the saddle. So I just, um, I just moved her feet and I just got Emily to help me so that I didn't get really stuck. And then once I knew that I could really put my leg on and ask her, then I was the one that gave her the confidence and then she did some trotting and she was just generally fantastic. So, so pleased with her. I'll get her like hacking up and down the drive over the next couple of days and then I'll just like hack into the school and then back out again and just generally not make the school like a big thing. I think that sometimes when you kind of make your first step onto the surface and you do it a bit tentatively and hang on. Yeah, I think when you do it a bit tentatively and you're like, <laughs> get put back on the lunge and stuff, you can cause a bit of like a, something around it that isn't necessary. So what am I doing? So yeah, that's how, I'll, that's how I will proceed with Zora over the next couple of days. Delta actually wears the same bridle as Zora. That's how I solved the bitting problem. So we have the, the breaking bridle now. But yeah, how exciting about Zora. What a dream she is. That literally couldn't have felt like a more productive way to start my day. They were so fantastic. Yes. It's nice. It's just nice. It's nice when you do them yourself and they're great. And I'm just so, so excited about Zora. Because obviously Delta's lovely, but she'll go home to her mum soon. But um, Zora, obviously. So I'll get her, keep her going and get her going in and out of the school, like I said, and hacking. And then she'll go out in the field and have a little growth spurt in the field because she's gone a little bit bum high. And I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be riding her when she's growing. So, yes, yeah, so then she'll have a rest till either the new year or Christmas time or something, depending on the weather. Get fat, eat grass, grow her hair, you know, all the fun things you do on holiday. Or let her go out to the field. Have a great day! Right, to Kiso and beyond. No, well, hopefully not beyond, just Kiso. God, what am I talking about? I've arrived at Kiso. Here he is, the man himself. Hiding. Hello. Hello, Obies. Having a snack. Good boy. Get you ready soon. I forgot my numbers. I had these like emergency ones. It's got pink on it. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh Christ. How am I gonna do this? I'm not putting them on his bridle. He look. He'll hate that. I've got some safety pins. Let's see if we can make this work. I need to get on. I'm running a bit late. He's half tucked up at least. Why is why always end up being late even though I was early? Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> shut up. No. Get in the video. You can be YouTube famous.
it's, so um, over to me it's breakfast it's so all of it look at that for a smart invention is that nice you know rest of your breakfast that you didn't want because you're a bit anxious i know the feeling mate not wanting to eat breakfast when you're anxious here you go boy right so he says that's boots he's had his breakfast and he's got his uh ceramic boots on ceramic technology boots the back on track ones which i highly recommend and now i'm gonna go and see my score who knows? He didn't, I didn't feel amazing. I was saying to Michelle at the warm up, I tend to find that he peaks at about 12, 15 minutes and then he goes a bit. Ugh. So I thought, okay, right, timed it perfectly. And then he still went a bit. Ugh. So potentially it's more nervousness from him than the time of work. So yeah, keep playing around with that till we get it right. Everyone looks at me because it's funny because I'm staring at my camera talking to it. I've just got back in my car, but I can't. I'm a car, please. So I got 66.3%. I got two fives, one of which, because apparently I can't ride a 10, uh, 20 meter circle. I need to watch the video back. I'm sure I did ride a 20 meter circle, apparently fell in a bit. Which I just, anyway, tough judging. Um, it was one on 66.7. So only a tiny amount difference. Uh, and pleased with him again, he was lovely and relaxed. So yeah, it can definitely be better. It wasn't our, definitely wasn't our finest hour, but the judging was tough. Got a lot of sevens. Um, need to practice my medium trot a bit more, get that a bit stronger. But generally pretty happy with him. Got a lovely rosette because I won my section. I came second overall in the whole test and then I won the silver section. So yeah, there was any four in it, but uh, tough judging and a horse that is still returning from injury as such. You know, he had a whole year off. So the fact that he is uh, as consistent as he is, is still really impressive. So gonna go home now and ride all the rest of them. I've only got white britches. So I might, I don't know if I've got time to go home and get some normal color britches, because otherwise these are gonna get absolutely trashed. Either that or I've got to continue to ride on my jogging bottoms and they just make me look like a tramp so not sure if that's an option but may would save me a lot of time anyway off i go i'm gonna eat something now i've not actually eaten anything today and it's 12 o'clock whoops but um i had a cup of coffee so that'll see me through so yeah see you on the other side slightly more appropriately dressed and I think this top is really see-through. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna go now back to the yard and do the others, exercise them. I've eaten some watermelon on my way home and a wrap and a croissant and all sorts of various other things. Yeah, beautiful sunny day. So I've got three left to exercise and then teach this evening. I won't take you the whole day through the teaching, etc. because it gets long. The last video is 42 minutes long, which is fine. I don't know, you guys like feature film, feature length film type vlogs, but I can't upload them. It takes me like two days and I have to use my phone as a hotspot for the computer because otherwise the Wi-Fi is desperately slow and then it just takes such a long time. So yeah, so I will uh, I will do my best to get this, make this one nice and long for you guys because I know you love watching my photos apparently, but it won't be as long as the last one hopefully. That was a ramble, it's gonna make this a lot longer anyway. Bye for now. Hello, dogs. Hello, dogs. Who remembers Blondie? We have progressed a bit. Um, we can now tack her up totally normally. You guys having a nice day? Is that a yes? Beautiful girls. Come on. We've got to do our work. You can't stand with Didi all day. I know you like her, but.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. She's that kind of horse. <laughs> So Blondie was previously Mrs Negative in the school. She wouldn't let you put your leg on. If you did, she would like basically stop moving. Um, and we, I've been working a lot on getting her feeling more positive in the arena and making sure that she actually wants to be in the arena. So you'll see every time when I ask her to go forward, I just put my hand forward and I give her space in her neck to just go and move and be positive and it meant then that it was really positive and uh, this was the first time I've had been riding her since I've basically restarted her and she had her ears forward and yeah she still switches her tail a little and she's a bit unconfident still but actually I was just so pleased with her like she just did the job you know she let me ride her and she let me ask her some questions and yeah I was really pleased holding my neck rope and what I was talking about talking about catching a dingo and stuff, I just lose my mind when I do these young ones, you kind of have to talk about something, because when you ride a young horse like this, that is a big horse and it's a challenge and she's had some slightly volatile behaviour in the past, you, it does, you do, it's not like I'm not a bit scared, you know, I just have to think about how I'm going to solve the problem, not what the problem is, and then I start to feel more confident again, and I stop talking rubbish about dingoes, etc. Eric, please. No, I can feel you blowing out. Stop it. His girth's really small. And I can only... Just... Why do you push again? I do it up like the hole number five when I'm on. And then when I'm trying to do it up, he's like... And then you need to punch yourself in the face. You're a bloody nightmare, Sally. So pleased with Blondie, guys. I just spoke to her owner on the phone and she was really pleased too. Just so pleased that she's so positive. That horse used to kneel on the floor when you got on because she really hated it that much. Whereas, hang on, that's better. She used to kneel on the ground when you got on that horse, Blondie. She shouldn't do that anymore. She's very restful. So before I, you had seen, I had done moved her through the groundwork pattern again, the same one you, I did before. Um, getting her to find that relaxation in her body. Yesterday in the arena, she was bonkers. It was raining and the poles were out and she hadn't seen the poles and she came in the school and literally went all over the place. She rolled in the school the other day. That was really weird. I couldn't, I couldn't, still couldn't tell you why she did that. We were just walking, doing the following and the focus. And so she's following behind me and then I stop and ask her to rest and then we move again. And she stopped and just rolled. It was very sudden. Uh, but I'm gonna go and ride Eric now. And he is second to last. How many have we got left? I might have got time to do one more. Um, what a positive day this has been. I'm so glad I brought you with me. Often vlogging brings out positivity. Winning at life. Very pleased. And Obi came home from the show and he's gone out in the field. Nice for him. I'm just walking my last horse off, Eric. Um, all six have been exercised. Emily gave Tink a little lunch early. So, that short interlude of a little spook. Uh, I'm gonna leave this video here. Uh, I've just got to catch some horses in and go and do some teaching this afternoon. So it's now three o'clock um, and everything's been exercised. Um, and yeah, what a lovely day. What a nice thing to be able to share with you. Some firsts, rosettes, and firsts 
horses getting doing their first bit of trotting. Um, and Blondie being ridden, so I can't get over how happy I am with her. She was essentially deemed unrideable, so there we are. A different way of training can be the right way. I've had such a great day. Um, I love having a good productive day and I really loved the response that I got from my last video when I talked about anxiety and stuff and talking from somebody who does suffer from anxiety but not all the time you know I got nervous today going to the show don't get me wrong because I always do because I put a lot of pressure on myself but it was really nice to have you know a lot of people get in touch and say oh you know me too um, but also, a side note, is that I, it's not every day. And that is going to be the same for you. It's not going to be every day, you know. It's going to be a bit intermittent. And sometimes it will be not so great. And sometimes it will be great. And you'll feel like a million bucks and that you can go and win a rosette. So, there's a positive message for you. So, that is the end of today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it, share it. Uh, screenshot it and put it on your Instagram story because I really do love seeing those it really makes me feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside to know that you guys are enjoying my videos often on an enormous screen which gives me slight palpitations because I think god how good do I look this close up but anyway um I might see you next week who knows I might give you a month's gap now because this was you know you've had two in a, two in two weeks so there you go uh but it's only a Tuesday so I should hopefully get this edited by next week God knows, it do take me a while. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I hope you have a great week, and I hope you had a great week, because it'll be Sunday by this point. Do you see what I mean? Do you see why it takes me ages? Anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye for now.